G'day guys, uh, this is Nick at stridewise.com and I am here at Red Wing Soho. Is that the name of the store? Red Wing Heritage NYC. Red Wing Heritage NYC, the best, the Red Wing store of New York City with, uh, introduce yourself gentlemen. Uh, hey, my name is Kyle, I'm a sales associate here. I'm Joe, I also work here. Joe is the proprietor, he like, proprietor. He, 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 he proprietor. runs the place, he's very important. Yeah. <laughs> Big man. I am CJ, a boot lover. CJ has his own YouTube channel all about Red Wing. I encourage you all to check it out. And today, we are looking at the best Red Wings you cannot buy. The weirdest, the wildest Red Wings that you are not able to purchase anywhere. We've kind of lined them up from the least weird to the most weird and exclusive and hard to find. So we're running through, yeah, the Red Wings that you can't buy. So for starters, the first one is the only one that I have experience with which is the Merchant. The Merchant boot from Red Wing. It seems like one of Red Wing's many attempts to sort of nail the half dress boot, half work boot thing that's getting increasingly popular. I think the Williston, the Sheldon, these are all other sorts of attempts to do this. It's like a round toe, it's unstructured in the toe, and this is the Olive Mojave leather, which I don't think, do they still sell the Olive uh, Mojave leather in anything? I think some women's boots. Some women's boots. It's essentially, it's a rough out, and it's an unwaxed rough out. So unlike the Hawthorne Yule Skinner, which you see here, uh, it's unwaxed, so it's a lot fuzzier. And uh, yeah, it's the maybe the most innocuous, uninteresting Red Wing boot there is. Which I had a conversation with a woman about that today. Yeah, which is why they took it off the market, I guess. It's not especially interesting, but you cannot buy it. And I have a whole video about my own video, my own pair of these boots, if you want to check it out. Number one, number two, what's this? The Billy boot. No, this no. is the Billy boot. Which one's this? Harvester. Harvester. Whose boot is this? Mine. Speak to the boot, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 2944 Harvester. This was released in Europe. Uh, this is in uh, black harness leather, and uh, basically it's a blacksmith, but an eight inch blacksmith. Originally this comes with a Vibram sole, a Vibram mini lug sole, but I had it converted uh, to the Rochia. Um, so it's to me, it's like an eight inch Beckman, but not mm. with the leather. So you doubly can't buy it. You doubly definitely can't cannot get this. Yeah. Not this one. Can't get this all. drip. <clears throat> no, no, no. And I'm hoping that Red Wing gets the idea and actually makes an eight inch Beckman in the future. There you go. That's the move. Yeah. I can eight see eight it. Your lips to God's ears. Next is the Billy Boot. This one's yours? I own it. This isn't mine specifically. This came out in late 2019. It's a rip on an old Scout boot. So you can see the little uh, knife pocket there. Obviously, it's modernized. The original version looked much different than this. Didn't have the track and tread sole. And it was a round toe. It was a round toe. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they modernized it. It's really cool. It's got the red wing embossed on the side there. How is this different to like the normal eight inch red wing mock toe? It's got a pocket for a knife. It's an exclusive leather. Not a lot of boots that are made in black Klondike, which is a T-core leather. So it's finished black and the base of the leather is a golden brown. Uh, so over time, as it starts to wear, you start to see the base, the golden brown base underneath it. It comes with leather laces, which the uh, classic, like the 877, comes with Tazline laces. Got it. It's got the embossing on the tongue with the size, and the, you can't see it now because it's laced up. Beautiful, and it's got Red Wing branding on the, on the yeah, side of the shelf. Yeah. The side. Very cool. Black, yeah, black Klondike leather is not one you often see on, yeah. uh, on Red Wing boots, but you get an 8 inch tall mock toe with a black Klondike leather and a pocket for your knife. Pretty cool, but you can't buy it. We once had a guy that uh, got a pair that had two knife pockets. It was really interesting. Yeah. It had it had one on yeah, either, one on on either, either side. side. So like, that one you definitely can't buy. You cannot buy. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> yeah. uh, is this CJ? Or this is my own This CJ. is the 8188. This is the Picos in the Hawthorne uh, Mill Skinner. And uh, you were talking earlier, they made this for women in the Olive Mojave. So it looks gorgeous. So I wish they would do a release for guys with that same leather. but. This one was released in Europe. This one was also very popular in Europe. I, when I was there in 2019, a lot of guys uh, were wearing these. Guys who worked uh, retail, this was their go-to. It's a great boot pull-on to work around the shop. Very comfortable, very easy, and it styles and ages amazingly. You see mine has some nice crocking from the Selvage denim that I wear. Um, this one, definitely a favorite of mine. Also, mind you, Heritage Pecos doesn't say Pecos. Yeah. You can get the worked Pecos in Brown, Brown Boomer, Boomer, and then you can get one with a composite heel that's a little bit more Western. I think it's 1155. But both, they also say Pecos, which I yeah, think is cool. Both very comfortable because yeah. they have the pour on sole in there. I own the 1155s and 1178s. <laughs> I own all of them, to be honest he, with you. No he lie. does. Yeah. I gave joke. him a pair. 
This is the 4585. This is also mine. This is the Lager and Briar. This was released in Europe. This one, to me, is probably one of the best boots you can own. Eight inch round toe. It is a nice hybrid. If you were to take an Iron Ranger and a blacksmith and they had a baby, that's what you have right here. If you do not have this one, you slept on it. SOL. Beautiful. 8804. This is a good one. Aura Russet Super Soul. Faux mock toe. So it's not stitched the same way that a regular mock toe is. But it's a little bit cleaner at the top. And it's got a super sole, and it's uh, cushioned on top of me. Could you speak a bit more about a super sole? I think people don't often see those. On the yeah, man, super sole is an interesting thing. I don't know uh, exactly what the math was behind making this. It's, it's not the grippiest or the most comfortable thing in the yeah. entire world, really. <laughs> um, but it's really it's, sleek, though. It's very streamlined. Yeah, but it's, it's sleek. Cool looking. You know it. Resists a lot and uh, looks cool. Is this, this, is this a storm welt as well? It's a storm welt ish, right? Mm -hmm. So it more just sort of has a glued on piping around the outside of it. Hmm. So right? not a storm welt then? I don't think it's a traditional storm welt. It's not a double sort of Norwegian welt. It's more like it, it, it has an outside one that's glued onto the outside. Yeah, so it's protecting the stitching of the, of the welt, but right. it's not. The same thing's going on, but it's. A little less complicated. Okay, all right. Yeah. So that's like a six-inch mock toe, except you've got the super sole, you've got the fur, the fur mock toe, you got a fur storm well, you get the leather collar off the top, and also you get the red wing yeah. branding on the yeah. side. And it looks cool, and it's really comfortable. And you can't buy it. And you can't buy it. Can't get it. Yeah. Yeah, we're moving into the last two, the getting into the rarer and the weirder. Uh, Joe, walk us through this mock toe here. The Wabasha. So let's, Wabasha. let's hear about it. The Wabasha was a red wing worked with Rancourt about a little under a decade ago and had them make boots for them. Supplied their leather and their design and had them handmade, and this has turned into the Wakuda now, it's sort of the like predecessor to the Wakuda. It's obviously nicer. I mean, it was handmade and really nice, but that's a really hard boot to come by. Yeah, Rancourt is, uh, yeah. I've mentioned them a couple times on the channel before, they were in my best winter boots video and, uh, and a few other ones, and like they're very well known for their moccasin style construction. Like, there is very, very handmade, very laborious, very American, right? Like, fairly expensive as well, but not all the time, but like, that a brand like Red Wing, which is like so Americana, would collaborate with a brand like Rancourt, which is so Americana, but also so small business and also yep. so uh, better known for their uh, hand craftsmanship and also specifically their mock toe construction. If you were going to collaborate with Rancourt, you would be on like a mock toe boot like that. Totally. This is like what, like almost 10 years old, you said? Yeah, about that. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently, yeah. because it was so laborious and such a beautiful work of art, they were prohibitively expensive. People didn't buy them, and now you can't buy them. Right. And we still get some guys coming in asking to get them resold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Rancourt we sold them. And this is canvas on the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's wax canvas on the side. Love it. And Rancourt is, is more than willing to resold these boots for these guys. I yeah. love it. Let's check out these last boots. Okay. okay, these last are the 8271. These are engineers in the Oro Russet. To find a pair in this condition is extremely difficult. Maybe you have to fly to Japan to do that, but these are highly sought after. A lot of guys reach out uh, to me trying to find a pair and I may part with them after this video. Oh man! <laughs> Keep an eye out, guys. So yeah, Oral Russet Engineer Steel Toe, and this this leather is extremely rare as well, isn't it? Yeah, the Oral Russet. There's not a lot that they put out in Oral Russet. It's like a bright red leather yeah. Yeah. from SB Foot. Yeah, and you got it as well. Yeah. Same same guy there. All right. Well, that is. These are some true Red Wing experts in the heart of New York City at the Red Wing store. I'm very grateful for all your time, gentlemen. Um, and these are the Red Wings you can't buy. We've got an article in the description below with more details about these boots and a couple others that we found around the shop as well that you should check out as well. So check out the article and uh, subscribe to CEA's channel and come to Red Wing Heritage New York City on Franklin Street. Thanks, subscribe. See you later.